Hello friends, uh, I'm Parways and today is our first video in Unity 5 3D game development uh, and C Sharp scripting. Uh, this is our first video and uh, uh, in the first video I will not show you how you can download Unity 5 or how you can download the installer or how you can install Unity 5. Uh, this is simple and easy and you can do it by yourself. Uh, in this video, in the first video, uh, it will be a little uh, uh, more than beginner uh, <coughs> uh, because uh, uh, we are making a simple camera script and uh, also uh, we are making a movement script for our player uh, to move our player okay uh, first we will check uh, and we will see our uh, camera script uh, First of all, you should make a C sharp script. Uh, I, um, I, I have really make a three D scripts in here. Uh, uh, my camera script name is camera script. Uh, I have a public class uh, camera script, and it inherits from Mono behavior. Uh, in here, I have some public va variables. Uh, mm, these all of these are publics uh, public because uh, we will change this in the unity engine uh, I have a public transform target for my target uh, when I attach my script to my camera uh, I want to add a target like a character or uh, an object and the target I have a public float target height uh, distance uh, offset from wall, max distance, main distance, uh, x speed, y speed, uh, y main limit, y max limit, um, zoom rate, rotation damping, uh, I have a damping, uh, zoom damping, and also I have a public layer mask, a collision layer, uh, this is a minus one, and also I have um, x degree to y degree, and also current distance, and these two are by default zero, but we can change this in the uh, Unity engine. Uh, I have current distance, desired distance, and also uh, corrected distance. Okay. Uh, in the start function, uh, I have a vector three angles. Uh, I make it transform dot Euler angles, and also I take the x degree and uh, assign it to angles dot x and y degree to angles dot y and I have current distance uh, make uh, I make assign the current distance to distance uh, in here I have uh, distance to uh, 5 uh, 5 5.0 float uh, but we can change this in the unit engine I have desired distance um, and also I have uh, corrected distance uh, and here we should uh, make the rigid body not change the rotation. We are restricting the rigid body uh, to not change the rotation. We get component of the rigid body and we freeze the rotation to the true. Uh, and also we have, in here we have a camera logic. Uh, on the late update uh, function we have a camera logic to uh, only update after all character movement. Uh, logic logic has been handled uh, and here we have a vector 3 uh, target off mm, I don't know what's this okay I have uh, <coughs> a target off uh, and here we check uh, that if uh, if uh, there is no target defined uh, we don't do anything uh, if the target is empty then we leave it and we return it uh, and also after that we if we have uh, our target then uh, mm, we take the mouse buttons uh, for the camera position uh, to control the camera position uh, we in here we have uh, get mouse button right mouse button and the left mouse button 0 and 1 and we assign this to x degree and y degree Input dot get access mouse x and input dot get access mouse y. These mouse x and mouse y are in our inspector. If we come in the edit in our 
project setting and inputs we can see that we have mouse x and also we have mouse y uh, we are using mouse okay and we uh, multiply this by x speed and uh, y speed uh, and here we uh, take the vertical and horizontal buttons of the keyboard uh, vertical and horizontal also these uh, vertical and horizontal are in here horizontal and vertical uh, if uh, these two uh, these two are not uh, these are not equal to zero after that we uh, make a float target rotation angle and we give it a Euler angles dot y and also we give the current rotation angle and give it transform dot Euler uh, angles dot y and and also in here we have a uh, lerp angle uh, matter dot lerp angle uh, current rotation angle target rotation angle rotation damping times by time dot delta time and here we have uh, in y degree uh, we have a clamp angle and it has three parameters uh, y degree y min limit and y max limit this clamp angle is a, a static function uh, it is in here private static float clamp angle and it, it has three parameters uh, float angle uh, float main and float max and in here we check if uh, angle is uh, uh, less than uh, minus 36 we add uh, uh, minus sorry minus 360 we had 360 we add to angle uh, if angle is greater than 360 uh, then uh, we uh, minus this to uh, uh, 360 and after that we return the the, the matter dot clamp uh, basically a uh, clamping is used to restrict a value between a range and here we give the range of angle main and max uh, okay now uh, after that we set the camera rotation uh, we set the camera rotation we give a, a quaternion rotation and give it to a quaternion quaternion and that Euler uh, y degree x degree and zero now in here we calculate the desired distance uh, desired distance uh, input dot get access we take mouse scroll wheel uh, times by time dot delta time and zoom rate times by zoom rate and times by matter dot uh, abs desired distance this is also the de uh, desired distance and also in here we have uh, corrected distance um, and in here we calculate the desired camera position uh, we uh, take a, a target offset that we have uh, made in here at the top uh, in here we take this and uh, make it new vector t and give zero minus target height and minus uh, also we have a vector three position uh, we take the target dot position minus rotation times vector three dot forward uh, times desired distance and plus v target offset okay uh, and in this in these lines uh, these two lines we check the collision uh, check the collision using the true target desired registration point as set by the user using the height we make a raycast and recast hit a collision hit and uh, we give the vector tree true target position and to the new vector tree we have uh, some parameters in here and you can see this uh, and don't worry uh, I will add uh, the source code of this video in the description you can copy the source code and paste it and in here we will we check the collision uh, if there was a collision we create the camera position and create the corrected and can calculate the correct distance we make a boolean is corrected and by default make it false and now we check this um, you can see that we check the physics dot line cost we have a, a true target position a position and we give it out a collision hit collision layers dot value uh, this is the um, checking for the collision section and uh, this is a smoothing learn a lerp for smoothing lerp <coughs> we give this and also we have uh, uh, mm, 
legal limits for our uh, clamp. Um, you can see current distance, matev.clamp, current distance, mean distance, and max distance. Uh, we recalculate the position based on new current distance, uh, like this. We have uh, transform dot rotation, uh, transform dot rotation, make it rotation, and transform dot position to position. Uh, uh, this was our static fluid clamp angle, and uh, uh, we have returned it. And this was our all code uh, for our camera, uh, like this. Mm. You can pause the video and write, or you can copy with the codes. Okay, now uh, this was our uh, script. Uh, I have uh, a basic plan uh, plan in here, and I added a simple texture. Uh, now I take my script, my camera script in here, and I want to attach this to my main camera. Uh, I mm, choose my main camera, and in here uh, I add this camera script to this okay like this now you can see that in here uh, we have a target and uh, a target height because in in the code um, if you check this we make all these public uh, and in here we have uh, target height distance offset from wall and in a target uh, position uh, we uh, let me make a um, a 3D object. Uh, you can add your character in here, but uh, for the simplicity, I am um, I'm adding a cube. Uh, but if you have any character and he uh, make and you have made make an name for the um, character, you can add this. Uh, but for now, I add a cube. Uh, make it uh, zero, zero, and zero like this. Uh, Okay, now I should. Uh, uh, let me just uh, make it bigger a little, like this. Okay. Now I add my cube uh, to the main camera in the target. Okay. Now, if I run this, okay. Now I'm using the mouse, and uh, you can see that uh, I can, uh, but I mean, left mouse, right mouse, and also I can use the keyboard uh, like this. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, simple camera script. Uh, you can check this okay this was our camera script now you can uh, from the if you want to uh, change for example if you want the target height I give it 5 okay now you can see that uh, the height the target it's uh, in height and also you can change the distance, the X speed, Y speed, uh, damping. Okay, I make it by default to 1.7. 1.7, like this. Okay, now I want to uh, make a script for uh, rotation this uh, cube. And uh, also I want to move uh, this cube by keyboard by horizontal and vertical keyboards okay uh, for this I have also a script uh, a simple script you can see mm. at the top uh, um, my script name is movement script at the top I have a float speed uh, I make it 10 uh, by default and also I have a public float rotation speed I make it 100 and in the update in update section we make a fluid translation for taking our get axis. Uh, we take our vertical axis and uh, multiply it by speed. And also for the rotation, uh, we and for the rotation we take um, horizontal and multiply it by rotation speed. And in here we 
uh, we take the translation and rotation, multiply it by times dot delta time and also rotation, multiply it by times dot delta time, and in here we make a translate, transform the translate. Um, uh, we give uh, zero zero and the translation, and also we for the rotate we give uh, zero rotation zero. And this is a simple script. Uh, okay, now uh, I attach my movement camera movement script to the cube. Uh, I choose the cube, select the cube, and uh, movement script. I add this in here. <coughs> you can see that. Uh, our public variables are in here uh, speed and rotation speed now I run this like this okay. now my camera is working uh, camera script now I want to move this you can see that uh, I can move this and also I can rotate this by keyboard uh, buttons mm, so good uh, script uh, you can use uh, characters in here, but uh, for the simplicity, I'm using uh, uh, cube. Mm, now you can see that uh, we have this. Okay, uh, this was our first video, and don't worry, uh, I will add both the uh, and the camera script and also movement script uh, to the uh, to the description of the video and you can copy and paste it if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please please subscribe